Hello, hello, welcome to a new vlog. I know I've been MIA. I just don't, <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I have a million things to say, but are any of them worth saying? That's my headspace right now, but anyways, hello, I am vlogging today. So it took me almost two hours to do my hair and that's why I haven't put waves in it because it does take literally forever. So a lot of people have asked about my fairy hair. I can wash it, straighten it, curl it, do whatever I want with it. What it is, is like these strands, which silk? No. Ugh, I don't remember what, but it goes to the root of just one of your hairs and it's just like a knot. So when that natural hair comes out or falls out, that's when the fairy hair will come out. I think in total, I've had two or three fall out already. Um, I am planning on getting more. I'm probably gonna stick with the gold because I feel like it goes really good with my hair. But yeah, you just treat your hair like you normally treat it. You wash it, brush it, whatever it may be, and yeah. Currently taking my baby for a walk. Yeah. It honestly feels so good outside today. Like what? So I think I'm gonna walk Twinkie a little bit further than we usually go because it just feels so good. Okay, so I think I just came to terms with, I need to start doing my makeup in natural sunlight because your girl be looking a little different when she's in the sunlight y'all i'm just noticing that every single day i am improving my stamina and i love it i think everyone's favorite question is like how do you do it it's really just me pushing myself to do more so i'm feeling a little hungry i noticed that a lot of the foods that i'm eating lately very high in sodium here's a beautiful example of that my favorite freaking pickle ever so I am a texture girly, this right here. It's the Vlasic Big Crunch Snackums Kosher Dill. This is the way to go, so good. I've also come to the terms that I really like the cool blue Gatorade as well. So that's a thing. I need like a meal though, cause that's having one pickle, that's not gonna sustain me. So I think I'm gonna have this Pesto Tortellini. It's the great value brand. Tastes homemade. Literally the best thing I've ever ate. Like, so good. So we just left bingo and my mom won. I didn't, so boo. So my sweet angel baby is currently in the sink because while mama was gone, she got into something and I literally can't figure out what it is at all. But she has green all over her face. I'll post a picture here so you guys can see. It's okay. She's actually a sweet baby. She hates baths, but she's really good and she listens. But what is this green on you? What is it? We gotta get it off. Are you mama's good girl? Oh, come here. Oh, it's okay. I don't know what was green. We gotta figure it out. Yeah. Y'all, the last episode, the finale of Squid Game, the challenge is up and I'm so excited. This genuinely has been such a freaking good show. So I think I'm gonna have a couple drinks. I am an adult. Um, we're fine, folks. I know people, what am I doing with my hair? I know people are worried. There's nothing to be worried about. I'm sorry that I ever like gave that impression. Um, there was a moment where I felt like I was turning to alcohol and I'm really not because I noticed like if I'm in a bad mood, I'm not going to drink. I've, I've talked about this before. Um, I kind of just want to like sit here as the girly pop that I am and I want to watch this final episode. It's 44 minutes long. Y'all, my attention span is non-existent. There's only a few shows where I can actually sit and be like, wow, I am so entertained. This is one of them. And also Jersey Shore Family Vacation, um, 
that's like top two right now where I can actually sit and watch a full episode in one go. No movies, nothing. I can't do that with like literally anything. I can't do it with like a YouTube video, nothing. Speaking of YouTube video, Chantel, <laughs> her new video, I'm obsessed. Um, saying how she lied about her way in. Like literally, okay, like, do you want my crown? Cause I can go get it for you, polish it off. Like that's the type of energy we need in this community because oh my God. people, I can't. Everyone wants me and Chantel to be bigger than what we really are. And it's like, y'all, we're already big. Like, trust me, you already have that on us. So you don't need to make us even bigger than we already are. So I'm gonna go get me a buzz ball from my fridge. I'm gonna crack it open. I'm gonna start this episode and I'm so freaking excited. Okay, so I'm gonna have a pineapple colada buzz ball. And I think I'm also gonna have some salami and some of this garlic and herb cheese spread with some crackers. And I'm gonna watch my show. It's gonna be a time, I promise. Cheers. Everybody here. Just have to be on guard. Form these bonds. Honestly, today has been a weird pasta day for me. I don't really usually have this much pasta, but your girl is craving carbs. So I'm currently just boiling some elbow pasta here. And then I'm gonna add some of this unsalted butter, garlic salt, grated Parmesan cheese, and some tapatio, and it's gonna be great, I promise. This is the pasta I'm using, Barilla elbows. So one thing about me is I do like my pasta al dente. I do not like it squishy, no, and smushy, no. Let me try one here. That is pretty close to perfect. So let me let it boil for another, I'd say, minute or so. Okay, I'm gonna take this and strain it. I'll be right back. I left the tiniest bit of water in there. I'm going to add the butter, garlic salt, the Parmesan, and the tapatio. And then I just continuously stir. It usually takes a few minutes. So as it does its thing, I'm actually just gonna turn off the burner because the heat will stay. I made this, I want to say like a week ago, and it was so delicious. I was like, okay. I don't know what it is, but I'm just like not on track <laughs> at all in any sort of way. And I was actually thinking about going back to one meal a day, which is what I was doing when I lost 30 pounds in just one month. Like that genuinely works for me so well. All right, so here is my pasta, I promise. <laughs> it might not look the greatest, but it tastes so good. So I'm sure there's plenty to come for me for in this video, but I think I own like three spoons <laughs> and they're dirty. I really didn't feel like cleaning them, so I'm literally eating my pasta with a measuring spoon. Yes, I am. <laughs> so I will say that something I've noticed living on my own is like, I cook a lot for one person because I'm used to cooking for two people. But one thing I am proud of, like you guys, a few years ago, like I would have made too much, ate the whole thing, but this is how much that I am saving for tomorrow. I will say I do have a bad habit of always putting all of my food in one bowl when it's like obvious I'm not gonna eat the whole thing. Maybe it's because like for me, it's satisfying knowing like, I can stop myself now from eating the whole thing. Whereas years ago, your girl would have ate this whole bowl. But all of this, I'm done. That was so good. I'm gonna save the rest for later. I'm currently on my third buzz ball. Just kind of enjoying the night. I know a lot of you want me to live stream, especially while Drunk Lynn is making an appearance. And I think about it a lot. I do, I have it in my brain frequently to live stream. Um, even sober, I feel like it would be super freaking fun. I have not live streamed since moving. I haven't live streamed since, when was the last time? Um, yeah, okay, I remember now. So I don't know, Ugh, it's like even talking about it now, I'm like, oh my God, should I go live stream right now? I know a lot of people want tea, which I have tea. 
<laughs> especially like my dating life i'm not gonna lie to you i do you know i have okay i have been talking to people and i'm open to that but like i don't think i'm open for a relationship right now unless like you know i fall in love or i'm just like oh my god this person is so perfect you know i'm not really like looking for a relationship i know people think that that's the case but i actually love living by myself so even if i got into a relationship i don't want to like have a live-in relationship i want to experience being in a relationship with someone where it's like we go on dates and like you drop me off at my house or like I have days where I'm able to miss you, like dating, like true dating. Like I don't want a live-in girlfriend because that's what I've been doing since I was 18 and I'm fixing to be 33 on the 27th. It is my birthday month, folks. Yes, it is. So it's like, uh, you know, that's a whole era within itself that lasted over a decade. It lasted 14 years. And it's like, I wanna experience like continuously living on my own and taking care of homely responsibilities by myself and just being like independent in that way whereas like a partner is just like an extra part of my life and not like my whole life <laughs> i have a bad habit of making my partners my whole life um especially like i mean even in like talking stages i tend to do that as well and i want to blame it on my bpd because as you guys know i was diagnosed borderline personality disorder like i want to blame it on that but i think also just like i don't know sometimes it's hard to like separate your true self with is this just like my mental illness but um deep down i know that like i have a big heart and i tend to love people very strongly that's just like who i am at my core and i don't think i ever want to change that about me because i feel like that's a beautiful thing there's just so much like hate in the world and i'm just not that girly i've never been that girly and i know a lot of you dislike me because of things i've done or said in the past and it's just like overall as a whole i have changed a lot um why am i getting emotional i owe a big thanks to my ex because I just um I feel like I am super immature in a lot of ways I'm very childish but she she helped ground me a little bit and she, I feel like I matured in certain aspects for sure um I'm always gonna be childish and I'm always gonna troll online but it's never out of like illness <laughs> like it's never like ill Ugh, what is that saying it's never like in an ill way like a bad way um it's always just coming from like hi i'm a troll and i like to be stupid sometimes you know i don't even know what i'm talking about at this point <laughs> don't mind me i don't know i've just been thinking a lot lately like just about life in general and youtube I have went back and I've watched videos from like 2019, 2017, and I feel like those eras were a very different Amberlynn, like truly a very different Amberlynn. And it's like, I had no filter back then, like to the point of like, I even shocked myself with some of the things that I said. and. I really feel like that's a big reason why people stuck around and watched me because it's like I shared the craziest things and now it's like those things that I shared then I would never share now and I feel like it's causing like a big disconnect and I literally hate that. I'm truly trying to find a balance between current Amberlynn but also the Amberlynn that you guys enjoy most and i am having a little bit of a hard time figuring that out so i think it's just like we all need to be patient <laughs> i need to be patient with myself 
I need you guys to be patient with me. I know my content is very far few in between. Like I only upload once to like twice, maybe three times a week. And I wanna go back to like every other day. And it's like, I just actively find myself feeling super self-conscious about what I'm filming, what I'm saying. And I don't like that feeling at all. So it prevents me from filming. And I really, really hate that. Sorry, if you see me looking down, I'm just like <laughs> playing with this guy over and over and over. I'm a very fidgety person, like random fact, but I'm sure if you guys have watched me long enough, you know that because it's something that I have shared countless times. Anyways, I, I'm literally just rambling at this point. I should have just live streamed.